Hi Aquarius, welcome to my channel and welcome back to, of course, Tis I, the only archer with Archer Astrology. How are you? Aquarius, it's time to do your love energy check-in for you and the one on your mind for the end of March 2024 -ish, or whenever you clicked on this reading and decided to come and hang out with me for a little bit because my readings are timeless and meant to find you when they find you. I do appreciate you very much for being here too. If you could return the love for me, please love the like down here, share the channel and the video so we can help the community to grow and just kind of heal everybody. It's a thing we do and it's a genre that I appreciate you for being a part of. Also, subscribe, set the bell to all notifications. I do go live every Thursday night at 7.30 p.m. for an all signs from Aries to Pisces plus a card for each sign. So join me along with the OG Mod Squad, your concierge for an evening of enjoyment down in the chat, and we'll just hang out for a bit. Also, I do live pick a cards every Tuesday at 7.30 p.m. that you might enjoy. Just pick something already. There's more of those in the channel, in the playlist for you to enjoy. Um, while you're here, check the other ones out because I have all your weeklies, monthlies, and lives neatly prioritized and organized. I've got some healing music-based covers um, like uh, Funds from the Beatles, from Caitlin Petty with Bill over here. He's Gemini, so he's cool. He digs it. And sometimes, sometimes the D-string acts up, but we make them all work out well, okay? It's good times. And the big top news story, of course, going on right now at the channel is the Total Eclipse meet and greet. That's right. I am coming to Cleveland for a three-day event that will totally eclipse out all other meet and greets from April 6th to April 8th. On April 6th, we'll be doing some live music at Breakthrough Studios in Valley View, Ohio. Bring your instruments, your vocals. Check it out. Just be a fun time. We'll have an engineer on hand that uh, if, we, if we get a track or two laid out, there'll be some new bass covers and a neat little memento for us. And then on April 7th, it's the main event. From 1 to 7, I'll be at 3 and 3 Shine in Warrensville Heights, Ohio. That is the astrology, the tarot, pick a cards will be there. It's like everything we do here on the channel, but live, okay? So check it out. There will be giveaways. I've got a lot of awesomeness, including this deck. Not this deck. This one's mine now. But I have the original Urban Tarot. That's why it's hanging out over here. There's two tarot decks. What? Anyways, it is going to be one of the prizes given away, raffled off, et cetera, and so forth. Um, are at the event, so make sure you are there in person and be there okay then on april 8th i will stream the eclipse live to the channel got the filters for the camera the lenses all that fun stuff so we are ready all right um look forward to it follow me on tiktok and instagram for further details of course and please subscribe all right i do appreciate you for all of it all right we are going to take a look at the energies around you and the one on your mind um looking at the sun in aries the moon's in scorpio of course it's going to go void of course of course before it enters into Sagittarius, and um, we'll just take it from there. So it's another Sagittarius moon weekend. How's that going to work out? We're going to find out. We're going to do a nine-card spread on the table with a tenth-card outcome at the bottom, using the Urban Tarot for your base point, and throw a boatload of clarifiers at it with the awesome new Music Tarot, which I am totally loving this. Couldn't find it anywhere available. Had to go right to the source for it, but now I have it. It's mine, and it's awesome. I love it. These decks get each other totally. All right. Of course, all the messages are for your highest and greatest good. You know how that part goes. When you're with me, I'm your ride or die for life. I'm the crystals. I got you indubitably, indefinitely ironclad covered. All right. Appreciate you for being in here too. All right. Let's do it to it. Let's see what's going on for Aquarius and the one on their mind. Your thoughts, your feelings, the emotions, all the awesomeness. You ready? All right. Let's do it, Aqua. Here we go. Friends, Romans, Aquarians, lend me your ears, but not Van Gogh stuff. Keep them on your head. <laughs> All right. I love reading for you, Aquarius. This is so cool. Let's go. Let's do it already. You ready? All right. One and two. Let's love this deck for the auspicious Aquarians. Here we go. The outcome at the bottom of the deck is the tower, Scorpio energy. Actually, Scorpio and Aries energy, which is literally right where the sun and the moon are. As we approach the eclipse, where the sun and the moon get up there and jockey for energetical space, maybe even the full moon eclipse in Libra started something, ignited a little spark, some little electricity, some current in your brain that got you rolling. Like, I want to know more about this. You know, sun and the moon get in each other's way and the sun's like, stop blocking my light. The moon's like, stop looking at my dark side. But they work it out. They always work it out. They've been up there for a long, long time. And that's what I see here is an energetical reset or beginning where you can be yourself with the Knight of Pentacles to the Six of Cups on the Emperor. Told you you could be yourself. Aries energy. Six of Cups does show a deep connection that you're, you're curious about. Scorpio energy. Maybe you're even, you want, that's for the clarifiers. I got gotcha. you. Okay, no problem. No problem. But anyhow, telling you, with the Knight of Pentacles, this might have been something that felt like it took forever. It's taking too long, right? But 
In Archer's decks, the Knight of Pentacles isn't the slowest moving, it's the U.S. Postal Service. Because try tested or true, neither rain or sleet nor snow, that Knight of Pentacles gets things to its destination on time. And when it's when it's a fine gourmet chef here, that's Gordon Ramsay taking the time needed to make exactly the perfect meal. All right. So let's see what we got going on. What's your present energy? The Knight of Wands. Look at you. You're a rock star. Leo, Sagittarius energy, straight up fire, passion, and the ability to stay confident, be on stage, be yourself, and and roll with it. Okay. Maybe music really connects to you. That's one of the things we do here. It's music and, and binaural beats and all that. But maybe maybe you're in a band or starting a band or something that allows you to be like in the public eye on stage, TED Talk style, something like that, where maybe you even have a YouTube channel or something on social media that makes things work out for you. But that also gives you that inquisitiveness, the curiosity of Leo. You know what they say about curiosity in the cat? Satisfaction brought it back, right? So that's the thing that you might be looking for here is to find some more answers. You're curious about them and that's what we're here for, all right? What is your immediate influence? The Wheel of Fortune. Sagittarius, some Cancerian energy. I see the Sphinx up here that pulls the chariot into battle on this one. So it's something about timing working out or you feeling like the time is right to ride the energy out. Because with Pluto going into Aquarius, your sign, don't forget Pluto. Some people forget it. It's, it's that ability to be remembered for being yourself and to ride the energy out. Maybe with all that Aries, you've got some Cardinal Aries energy in your chart or some Capricorn that keeps you rolling and grounded. The, the Cardinal signs are having a positive shift on this, while the fixed signs such as yourself might be kind of just riding the energy out. So you're actually, you're tapping in and tuning in. I mean, of course, you're basically an all signs. You can pull in the energy you want which is what I've always admired about you. I'd sit and have a drink with a Heineken and with an Aquarius anytime. It's good times, okay? Let's take a look at what your goal or destiny is, what you want to achieve or what you're signing up for. It, it's you again. It's the Six of Swords. Aquarian energy. And like I said about the electrical energy charging and making your brain tick and wanting to make some more answers and find some stuff. And in this case, I actually see the goal and the destiny kind of lining up for you where you're here to learn. You want to, you, inquiring minds want to know. And we never stop learning. So you've got that ability where you are working with the Wheel of Fortune to be given a front row seat to everything that's going on, like right here. All right. Let's see. What is their energy? Their present energy is the page of, whoa, it's the page of wands. But it came out reversed. When they come out reversed, I have to honor them. I normally read upright. I clean and cleanse energies, reset my decks. But in this case, it's reversed. And we're going to cover it up so it stays safe for you two. So maybe possibly they've had to do whatever they needed to do to keep things going, to survive, to, to, to maintain. Okay, But there's a lot of passion with Page of Wands, Sagittarius energy, to allow them to rise above to those occasions and to make the best out of it. Okay, But it is reversed, so it's facing on your side. But... They're, they're doing what they have to do, and but not in the upright asset. Maybe they're more of questioning it, possibly. Maybe that's why you're curious. Maybe they're too quiet, almost. You know what I mean? We're going to find out. All right, what is their immediate influence? It's the Page of Swords. That's your energy. But I'm also pulling Aquarius and Libra and Gemini off of this. So it's all three y'all showing up. Hardison with the orange soda coming out. So they're totally, they're spying or they're looking on you, but they're doing it digital. I mentioned that you might be the one that's in a form of a public eye or mindset because they're watching it and they're learning from it though. I don't see the kind of the creepy one. They've got feelings for you. I'm pulling off of this. They just like, they're wanting to know more or you're teaching them. You could be a teacher or something that you do online or publicly helps inspire and, and, and bring others out of, uh, out of the cold, you know? That's what I'm getting off it because that's that's fire energy. So that's that's warming the heart chakra. OK, now let's take your three cards and add their two cards to it. The only time three plus two equals six and get up. This is Archer's world and get a potential outcome. The magician. The master creator. So together on this one, the future influence and your connection is being able to create and and rising to a new level that writes that that song or that completes that that book or that work or that whatever it is you guys were brought together in this lifetime with the repeating sixes of the six of cups of the six of swords to manifest and to create from on this one here and the ability to stay on a higher level of the energy it's like for what comes to you comes back to you master creating you've got everything that you need when you guys come together on this one and work it out very nice strong virgo gemini energy on that the, the 10 millimeter socket shows up mm -hmm. or, or for the girls 
That one shoe you can never find, or the one sock you can never find, and you wind up with mismatched socks. It's cool. It's a thing. All right. All right. Let's see what the incoming energy is. <laughs> Page of Cups. And I giggled because, look, it's the costume designer. And I like, like I, I mentioned right out of the gate, the girl trying to find, like, like if you're a, like a female Aquarian, maybe you just, you always wear mismatched socks. You just, whatever you pull out of the drawer, that's what you put on. You know, whatever pair of shoes is by the door, you put it on. You, that's how you think. Don't forget your umbrella. But, but anyways, this is Cinderella. I'm working to, to get ready to go to the ball to make sure everything was in place because it's like you, together you guys know that by midnight, it'll all turn back into a pumpkin and a bunch of mice and you'll go forward from that one there. But so you guys together create into this one here without having to change yourself. See how she's custom tailoring that dress to fit her? Very nice. All right. What is the environmental factors that'll be around you? It's the two of wands, Aries energy. More of that cardinal energy with the sun in Aries. While Mars, their dominant rock, is over in Pisces. That's the emotions of the water, page of cups that I'm pulling Pisces energy off of. When I look at the pages on up, I'll still I'll feel the element first and then see what I feel after that. Like in this case, water. Do I feel Cancer Pisces Scorpio? I felt Pisces on this, and the Aries confirmed it for me, two of wands, being at that point to, to make a decision or a choice to follow your path, your wands, your passions, and that, that thing that gives you the extra boost in the morning to, to get you out the door. Not just the coffee, you know what I mean? What could be coffee? If you want to open a coffee shop, it's cool. It, it, would, it would work. <laughs> All right, what's the inner emotions that's going to get you down to that tower card where you guys take that leap and take the beginning from, from some of the, the, the craziness? that's in the world today. The Ten of Wands, burnt out feeling and working to avoid this. Your inner emotions are feeling kind of an overwhelming energy, like just sick and tired of being sick and tired type of a thing and rising to the electrical energies of a new age. The Pluto shift into Aquarius has taken us into the artificial intelligence, self-driving cars, all the fun stuff that was in sci-fi movies a long time ago. All right, it lets you guys get to that point. Sagittarius energy, overcoming a lot of like the insanity. Sagittarius will be the first one to walk up after you've looked through that drawer three times for a charger cord to charge your phone and be like, it's not in there. It, but just stop and pick one up on the way in. And then when you find the other one, you'll have a backup. Okay, you keep one in the car, <laughs> especially when you had a self-driving car. So anyhow, Sagittarius energy on that. Interesting. So yeah, I'm pulling fire big time. Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius are all here. The Wheel of Fortune is bringing in just a little Cancerian on the side. Then you've got you big time along with Gemini and Libra and also some Pisces and Virgo. But now I notice there's there's minimal on the Scorpio side and no Earth. So you are, you are totally on a whole nother astrological level here, 5D completely. Speaking of which, the Hermits in the pre-shuffle on the music deck. Not bad at all. I dig that. That's David Bryan showing up from the Talking Heads. Right? The same as it ever was. Same as it ever was. How did I get here? Then maybe that's what I hear an Aquarius asking right there with the Hermit. How did I get here? All right, let's find out, shall we? We shall. All right. Thank you, God. Thank you, you Spirit. All right. So give me everything you've got, buddy. On the Knight of Wands to the Wheel of Fortune onto the Six of Swords. Because your brain is in the midst of a leveling up. Maybe you're noticing tingles in the back of your head, down your neck. Um, that sort of a thing that you're just energizing parts of your brain. We have full access to the whole 100%. But it's like the RAM and the ROM in a computer. We just only usually need to access 10%. But I see an Aquarius that's leveling up. All right. So let's go for it. Wow. This deck is hot at the moment. Do you see that? Trying to organize your thoughts maybe a little bit, like doing a deep rag on a computer. Let's find out. Three of Pentacles. Yep. Doing a deep rag, working with spirit from the above to achieve your Ten of Pentacles. Thirteen Pentacles comes out. Thirteen could be something, or you're born on the thirteenth, possibly. With the Seven of Pentacles to the Magician to the Hierophant and the Five of Cups. Interesting. And the Devil's at the bottom of the deck. Check that out. Interesting on that too. But the sun is right underneath it. How about that? So you've got freaking Sid Vicious on here coupled up with Harry Styles. That's literally, that's embracing both sides of the coin under this one here to make the best out of a bad situation. And finding all the details with the world card with Stevie Wonder showing up there. Maybe you just got a phone call or working to get a phone call. Like I just called to say I love you because everything is here. And with the sun card, that's Leo energy. Leo, that is the happiest card that's making you want to put on a pink feather boa and go out into a field of sunflowers. It's neat. All right, so let's see here. But but right now, 
you are trying to maintain your balance and composure with the hero font taurus energy here's where the grounded and the stabilization starts to come in along with the magician capricorn taurus and virgo are in your goal or destiny but all the pinnacles are in the details on this one here so like your money's looking good everything's good you're just wondering why this hasn't manifested with the seven of pentacles taurus energy trying to maintain balance maintain speed and heading but you're not sure why they're so quiet with that seven of pentacles onto it especially when you couple it to the five of cups feeling like you missed out on something or maybe they missed out on something but uh, you're not sure so with the magician you're just going to focus on you right the champions show up freddie mercury comes in into this one here you just want to be yourself and break free out of this situation with the hierophant though you're going straight to the top divine connection comes in um at the top of the three of pentacles to couple with it measuring twice cutting once getting everything in order down here to find out so you're really trying to understand something about them but you're unsure like why are they so quiet seven of pentacles of the five of cups it's trying to work through that because you've given a lot to everyone that you've come in contact with so it's understandable you'd be curious you normally you know everybody warms up to you but it, it's like especially if you're if you are going through a level up and you're feeling the tingles up in the head it's like the brain can interpret nerves and excitement in the same way you know all right let's see here whoa ten of wands comes back to the nine of pentacles you do look good in their eyes though or they're looking really good in your eyes i'm having a however moment with the ten of wands to the ten of wands you were then could be born on the 10th possibly even the 20th on this one or you're seeing like repeating numbers like you're always looking at the clock at 10 10 every day or angel numbers 10 10 and that's showing up with the nine of pentacles though you're good you're focusing you could have some strong virgo or dealing with a virgo or the ninth might mean something to you like the eighth the ninth or the tenth could be your birth date or theirs or your life path number eight nine or ten but with that one there it's actually the however moments we're going to need a bigger boat because i think you guys are both worried about missing the boat on this one here but making the best out of the situation with the three of pentacles that after you know three days go by three weeks three months however long it's been that you waited to hear from it's the one on your mind i know but i won't tell right high priestess so it's it's that to rise up above it and get that bigger boat and if you rise to a new level especially with this nine showing up hitting me right in the eyes right that's like nail right on the head to the king of wands to the page of cups that's a nice cowboy hat look at that definitely page of cups is that loving energy that's down here too you've got a lot of sinking cards a lot of repeating cards and mick jagger shows up with and so you got the moves like jagger but maybe wondering like why they don't all right so it's like it's like big divine energy and the king of wands coming out that's strong aries energy where the sun is at with the ace of swords so you do want to talk but you're wondering why they aren't okay it's like you're leveling up to become an emperor in the power levels here and with that nine showing up on it it's letting me know telling me about it that it's you might be going right for 999 hertz in 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 the sound healing that's angelic guidance infinite healing and literally it's the direct connection right to spirit above all right and 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 knowing like knowing how to say thanks thank you for for what comes your way and leveling up through it you know it's it's like a direct line on the bat phone right to god it's like the god phone with the hierophant especially taurus virgo capricorn so you are working to avoid future burnout the card is literally right here okay it's and it's shocking is it is it not like when you rub your feet on the carpet and you got the static electricity type of a thing going on it's making the best out of a, a bad day or a bad situation ten of wands like trying to find the best in it like well that's interesting like like think about april 12 1944 right it was a good day for harry truman wasn't the best for everyone but you know I me mean? all right so maybe that's it you're just trying to find like what's the deal with them all right so let's do it that's what we're here for it's what i was trained to do all right could be born on the 6th or the 9th possibly i'm also seeing the 18th and the 19th come out also the fourth or your life path number four all right thank you give me everything we got on this page of wands to the page of swords to the magician so see they're quiet about their passions they're keeping it bottled up to themselves for some reason but they're totally learning and checking you out all right page of swords up front. all right let's see what we got here we go the strength card hi leo again what's up Lady Gaga, very diversified and the ability to stand their ground in the, in the best of, of, a, of a situation. And think about how much Lady Gaga has gotten put like, oh, you can't you can't sing the sound of music. You're sitting there singing. Ba -da 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 -da. And she's like, I'll show you. I'll show you strength card. That's strong Leo. You could have Leo in your chart even possibly. But on their side here, they might be could be doing with Leo. That's a classic. Careful that one. Archer, it's an antique. I know. I know. I'm fine. <laughs> so at the moment. 
Why are they being so fixed energy? The world card to the four of cups on the death card to the page of wands to the king of swords. Oh, that's because you, you, they're thinking about you like a boss showing up in this one. That kind of fits. I can see it. Maybe like your your power is like Marvin Gaye style. You know what's going on or they want to know what's going on. It shows the ability to start talking with Miley Cyrus showing up. Page of Wands for a party in the USA that starts things over with Bob Dylan and the death card. Strong Scorpio energy too on their side. So it's kind of like they see you as the world because in the past, look at that. Look at how it's stuck there. See, that fixed energy shows up and it's even on the world card with that lion right down there. And, and the bald eagles up top but this four of cups here it shows me that they have never had any one person in their life forgive them so all they know is how to be used left for nothing in a ditch death card scorpio aries energy and then someone else comes along and takes their wallet right what's in your wallet they don't know because when they're in their down and out stages somebody comes up plants the flag takes the wallet you know scorpio energy but they see that like everyone literally they're quiet because literally everyone look who's back the hermit card everyone has given up on them and it's almost like giving up on love because love it's everybody you know hermit card how did i get here you guys are mirroring your energies they're feeling the same way with that hermit card to the ace of wands there is passion with that four of pentacles jack and rose on the door that could actually make this work and come to fruition in this one here it's like they simply they simply can't do it hermit card they'd rather you know it, 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 they have no time for time wasters hermit card of the ace of wands they know what they want where to go and they'll just get it and when you guys come together on this your wands go to 11. that is a lot of not safe for youtube energy but you guys just get it and the passions mingle and mash together with the four puck Four of Pentacles to the Four of Cups, the Four of Pucks. That's a hockey reference. Nice. Uh, cool. Stanley Cup, I think, shows up right here in Nine Cups. Pisces energy, big time, to, to throw down with the Knight of Cups. Taylor Swift shows up right there, riding in on her white horse to make a difference, to change the energies, and the music lets you guys start connecting with this one. Very nice. All right. Um, could be Scorpio energy. Definitely Leo is here. There's a lot of fixed energy with Aries showing up. And the fours are showing back up again as well. All right, cool. Let's see what we got in the outcome. Could be dealing with a Virgo, also Scorpio. But honestly, we got the world card hanging out right here. This literally is, it could be any sign. Literally any sign will work out on this one. It's all in the context of, oh my goodness, it's every sign. Either that or I'm talking to an Aquarius who's watching every sign of placement in their chart or your person is. Hi, cross watchers. All right, high priestess, we won't tell. With the fool card it's 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 the ability to do what you want to do and to rise up to the occasion and take that leap even if you got the yellow dress on it's cool and and to go for it right on the edge there to take the chance with the white rose and roll forward on it right there and not bad at all all right let's see what we got justice to temperance to the four of wands seven cups to the chariot whoa on the fool card foot on the gas no i'm gonna crash always on the go can't say no that literally shows up to balance the chakras out with Bruce Springsteen showing up and to find that way without having to change yourself for it once. It's that deep twin flame soulmate connection, the Fox and the Hound, Ford and GM. It's, it's the connection that you guys just get each other and go forward in a fast forward momentum that heals and brings things together with Jimi Hendrix, who was always one step ahead of the energetical curve. He had the chords of Sgt. Pepper figured out before the album was released. That's cool. And with the temperance on the top of that one as well, that's letting things come to a head. It's Chris Martin from Coldplay and being able to adapt to those situations and to mix a drink and look at the electricity that's coming out of there. Did I not mention that how you guys are feeling? You guys are both going to feel together. You're on a very similar level here that you guys just kind of get each other. And with the seven of cups to the fool, it, it allows you guys to manifest exactly what you want in your lives, right? Four of swords to the nine of wands, Sagittarius, Libra, Aquarius energy, told you. And the ability to rise to the occasion and manifest the dreams that you've thought. Learning how to speak each other's love language and to get all the chakras lined up, Scorpio energy. This isn't all the options and all that stuff that most people go to. In Archer's decks, the Seven of Cups is straight Scorpio, the one sign that rises through seven levels of ascension, rising like a phoenix out of the ashes. And with the 9-9 nine -nine hertz that, that's like tuning in, tapping in, in, in the sound you listen to, that guidance and healing is literally doing just that. 
lining every chakra, head to toe, to keep you on the ground, kind of stable, to learn each other's love languages with the fool, trying something different, and into the energetical shift as it comes about, and creating a connection, four of wands to the four of swords, repeated fours show up again, 44, that lets the connection stand the test of time for times to come. Nice. Wow, Aquarius, you have got strong Cancer, Sagittarius energy, Leo definitely, fixed energy. Scorpio is totally here. There's also Virgo and Taurus. But of course, we do have the world card, so it totally could be any sign, okay? Four swords to the six of swords. Many repeating numbers, signs, and everything syncs up as well. Wow, June 4th could be a date that resonates. Also, June 18th, possibly too. But anyhow, that's uh, it's like it's like opening it's like opening a coffee shop with like it's like the Colombian coffee but first first come first serve type of a thing whoa Aquarius claim this down in the comments let's manifest this one leave a comment please for me let me know how it resonates and how who you're working with how it's going I know it does take me a moment or two to respond to them I do stay kind of busy but tied trusted and true my arrow makes his way to you I do read like and love all the comments I know it just takes me a moment okay um and remember this could resonate to any and all placements within your chart of Aquarius, because we are not just our sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs, but all the parts of all our charts. And I am FHA compliant and will read for any sign or placement that desires and inquires. All you have to do is ask, all right? And if you would like to ask, hey, don't forget the astrology stuff. Don't be Enoch in that astrology now digitally, right? <laughs> just turn off your mind, relax, and go with the flow, all right? <laughs> Until next time, Aquarius, thank you so much for taking time out of your day your week, your life, your love, and your energy to be here for me. I ironclad appreciate it. And God, Spirit, thank you so much for the messages today. We are truly grateful. Definitely. All right, Aquarius. Until next time, I will see you then. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Follow me on TikTok, Instagram. And I will see you in Cleveland at the Media Greet. It's going to be awesome. All right. I'll see you tonight, too, for the Live All Signs. 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time. <laughs> All right. I love you. See you next time, Aquarius. Peace and love. Namaste. Archer out. Yeah, chariot. I'll leave it here for you, though. All right. Love you.